too many dark skinned women who are single for 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 dark skinned men to be going outside of their race, whatever that is, to date or have children and so on and so forth. You know? Here is where I'm gonna call BS on this on that talk. Like, first of all, if you in your mind feel like you need to be with a dark skinned person, like you you're like I just need to be with a dark skinned person, then then I could be somebody or, or I could I could feel 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 whole or whatever the case may be. Welcome to another episode of Don't Quote Me on the 27th Letter Podcast. My name is Landry on the Bay. You already know. So, this past uh, weekend, um, out the blue, well, I noticed um, the flyers was going around that uh, Dr. Uma, uh, I don't know what his last name is, he apparently doesn't go by Johnson anymore, so I I respect it, so I just refer him as Dr. Umar. Uma. I can't remember what his last name is right now, or that he changed it to. But anyways, he was here this past weekend and had a circuit of shows that he was doing within the city. And he's, I think he had three shows, so his second, second, second show, somebody called me and said, hey, listen, I need your help to come film this event, Rate Tape. That's how I ended up at Dr. Umar's event, the lecture, or whatever you want to call it. It was supposed to be, a, it's, a, it's a networking event put on by a gentleman named Jamal. Salute to Jamal. I see you. But, um, you know, it was, you know it, was, it was a great, you know, I got to see some folks. I even ran into some folks that I haven't, some mores I haven't seen in a while. One of the guys I was incarcerated with, I, I saw him, you know what I mean? As salute, you know what I mean? So, got got it was it was it was a good event, all in all, you know. I connected with so much, it was like the whole idea of it. But um, my my whole takeaway from the event was just that for us to really really evolve, we got to really nip certain things, certain narrative in the bud, you know what I mean? Nip, nip it in the bud, and for a guy like Dr. Uma. One of his selling points is race, race relations, people who have, uh, who go outside of their race. By the way, anybody, I mean anybody, no matter how educated you are or how wise you are, if you're going to use race, the color of somebody's tone, as a talking point, you, sir, ma'am, child, have a mental disorder. That's just my personal opinion. If you're going to look at somebody's hue and base your opinion off of that, you, sir, ma'am, child, have a mental disorder. Anyways, Dr. Uma, this is one of his biggest talking points, you know. As you guys already know, my empress, she's European pale skin, or aka as uh, Dr. Uma would like to call snow bunny or, you know what I mean, bunny hopping. So, anyways, soon as the man comes on, first of all, as a more, we don't play that game of, you know, again, talking about your hue and using the term black to describe people. So anytime I go to events like this, where it's all this black power movement is going on, by the way, uh, for the record, the civil rights movement, the civil rights movement, I'm going to do it the same way that Dr. Uma Docs does it. The civil rights movement, the civil rights movement, the civil rights movement was deemed unconstitutional before it even happened. Did you hear me? The civil rights movement was deemed unconstitutional before it even happened. So what have they been like? Your black power leaders are sellouts. They, they're misleading you. They just got you running around the desert like Moses did to, 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 to the folks. Just running around the desert, chasing their own tail, okay? And they know the truth about your heritage, but they'd rather sell you black power because that's what the powers that be will reward you to do. 
You know what I mean? Claiming Moorish, claiming indigenous as a dark skinned person. Don't, them folks ain't trying to reward you because they don't want you to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? Claiming, aligning yourself with your heritage ruins their house, house of cards. But because of the power of the dollar, the power of people selling out, you have years of black power from way back when, coming down to now Dr. Umar, guys like Dr. Umar. You know, and others who just use this race thing, but they don't want to talk to talk about the conditions of the heart. Now, at the event, there were some things that Dr. Umar talked about as far as you know, what I mean, educating your child, us being bare parents, and so on and so forth. So this, you got to pick sense out of nonsense. But again, the 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 the, the controversy that he uses to sell what he has to say is race. So. Again, as soon as he comes on, the first five things is that, she, that he chants out of his mouth, casting spells. Black power! Black power! Black power! Black power! Black power! He said this like seven times. I was like, okay. <laughs> this guy's literally casting spells. And you know the truth, Dr. Umar. You know the truth. You know what I mean? Don't say Moors have beef with you. No, we don't have no beef. I personally have no beef with you as a Moor or as a person who is with a snow bunny i have no issue with you because i just see you for what you are i know behind closed doors you're not talking like that trust me we know we know i know a grifter when i see him i know a snake oil salesman salesman when i see one bro i've been i've been at your lecture since 2016 17 when victor Bosili brought you to redemption retreat reintegration services at Midland Lawrence, back then you were still chubby. You know what I mean? You were, man was still chubby. Now he's a little slimmer. I'm glad you took you taking care of your health, taking your health serious. Salute to you for that. You know, but I've been hearing the rhetoric forever. You know, and I don't know how people can still keep falling for it, for the hypocrisy. But at the same time, I understand because enough people idol worship. I'm gonna get to that after. So, anyways guy comes on talking black power black power and then he starts talking about what he uses what what he what, what makes his money maker which is the race thing race relationship and he's talking about oh he brought up the fact that there's too many dark-skinned women who are single for 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 dark-skinned men to be going outside of their race whatever that is to date or have children and so on and so forth you know here is where I'm gonna call BS on this on that talk. Like, first of all, if you in your mind feel like you need to be with a dark skinned person, like you you're like I just need to be with a dark skinned person, then then I could be somebody or, or I could I could feel 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 whole or whatever the case may be. Instead of just finding a good person with a good heart, you wanna be you wanna be with a dark skinned person. Fine. That's fine. I hear you. I got you. If you really, really, really are obsessed with that, because I think for the most part, I think it's an ideal, you know what I mean? Like a tall person who's 6'5", might want to be with somebody that's 6'5", it's an ideal, but what if you meet somebody that's 5'9", are you going to be like, ah, you're not 6'5", so I'm just going to throw you away. It's asinine. It's asinine thinking when it comes, to, especially when you're using somebody's hue. Like, are you crazy? Do you know the type of spirit? Like, we're spiritual beings having a human being experience. So, how the hell could you even look at somebody's hue and base that off of based off of that you're gonna want to be with that person and have children? No wonder we're messed up in this world, yo. You guys are just only surface deep when it comes to looking for partners. You know, now back to I want a black queen or a black king or whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? That's on you. That's what you want. If that's the case, yo, there's a whole continent from Central America to South America to the islands filled with men, dark screen men. All you have to do is hop on a plane and go. Go search for your man. Go search for your dark-skinned woman. Okay? And that's just in this part of the heavens. Now, let's talk about 
Alkebulon, aka Africa. This bro, the everywhere. Matter of fact, salute. I'm not gonna bait up the shorty's name, but in the year of the return, I noticed there's a dark skinned girl who lives here, who's from the city where I'm at. And the year of the return, you know, as they called it, where people went back to Alkebulon to I don't know what they went back for, but whatever. They went back as the year of the return. But I see most of them came back, whatever. There's a dark skinned girl who probably was like, you know, looking for her black king and was like, yo, I can't, she can't meet anybody here. So you know what she did in the year of return? She found herself her dark skinned man and now she has a daughter with the man. So I say all that to say this. If that's really something that you really, really want in your heart, that you want a dark skinned person or a black person, your king or your queen, go hop on the plane and go. This yeah, them everywhere. But you guys have talk. You just full of shit, right? You you just full of it. You know, you, like if you really want, if that's, you really know that within your heart, that's not it. It's not so much about dark skin. You know what I mean? Oh, you don't want to travel. You don't want to travel. Okay, I have a better idea. There's a whole prison up here. Prison everywhere. Pick a prison. Pick a prison. Pick a prison and pick a first name and pick a last name and just write. <laughs> you, there's dark skinned men in prison. Enough. Dark skinned women in prison. Enough. So, all I'm saying is this. If you really believe within your heart that, you know what? In order for me to be happy, I need to be with a quote unquote green person, purple person because I'm purple. Or I need a person with big foot because I got big foot. Or I need this person with uh, big eyelashes because I got big eyelashes. If that's all, that's, that's, that's as, as far as you're going to go when it comes to looking for a partner, it's just surface. Go ahead. Then you deserve what you get. But as far as I'm concerned, the whole people like Dr. Uma who use race, it's, it's, it's asinine and it's hypocritical because guess what? When it comes to you, you get medical attention in an emergency, you know, I'll be like, uh, well, let me get a dark skin. You know, you want to get fixed and better right away. You know what I mean? Yes, we know. I know. I know about how the medical practices have been experimenting on dark skinned people for years, especially dark skinned women. But again, it goes back to not knowing ourselves. You feel what I'm saying? These, these things are being used as guinea pigs is because we don't know ourselves. We don't know our, 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 true, our true heritage. And we don't, more important, we don't know the power that lies within us. We're always looking for out, out, external, extern, external validation. You know what I mean? So now, back to Dr. Uma. So he's there talking his shit, talking about, oh, there's too many dark skinned women, this and that. Bro, as far as I, I can see, I don't see Dr. Uma with his dark skinned woman rolling with him. Like, if you're gonna practice what you're saying, Dr. Uma, I mean, let me rephrase that. If you're gonna say what you're gonna say, you need to practice that, Dr. Uma. If you're gonna say, there's too many dark skinned women that are single. Where's your dark skinned woman? She should be with you everywhere you go, fam. Everywhere you go, you should have your dark skinned woman with you. Everywhere. And right behind them is your children. You know what I'm saying? Be transparent. But no, you're full of it. You know it. Behind closed doors, we know what you're dealing with. We know. So please, people, you guys love idol worshiping. Yo. I think the man was up there talking for maybe 45 minutes, then they had that Q&A. And after that, you should see the amount of people running up there wanting to take a picture. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. And it's like, yo, the idol worship is crazy. Like, me? Like, don't take it as me hating or anything, but I just see through the BS. These guys, these celebrities, because that's what he is, you know what I mean? Don't, don't let you think he's some civil rights or, 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 or somebody for the people, you know what I mean? Like, come on, he's not no activist like that. He's, he's, the only thing that makes him active is his pocket. He's a pocket activist. 
that's what Dr. Uma is, is a pocket activist. Whatever you put in his pocket, that's what he's being activist about. It's like celebrity, like it's no difference than no celebrity. It's just, you pay him a certain amount, you can get him to sponsor anything you want, pretty much. So, anyways, that's all I gotta say. When it comes to these relationships, if you yourself, because I even heard like men, men, grown men, rather go sleep with a pillow in their bed and be by themselves in their bed before they give a person outside of their race a chance. You really rather just be single? You really rather, when men, men's talk about nation building, how are you nation building and you're out here just sleeping with your dick in your hand? Excuse my language. But it's same thing with the women, like, why are you, are you, are you nation building when you, you got a pillow between your legs? Like, what are you guys talking about? You guys are full of it, all right? This is a, where human beings are having a spiritual experience. Stop looking at people's hue. This is part of the psyops. This is part of the uh, 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 population control. It got you so confused about who you are, who you need to be with. Me? came out of prison, I was like, yeah, I'm looking for the purest heart. The purest heart came, and me and her settled down. Three children later, what, you gonna diss my children? You gonna say something? I have three beautiful children. I got beautiful family, wonderful wife, empress. Bro, come on. You you rather trade that for how things might look if you were with somebody that's not of your hue? You're crazy. You guys deserve what you get, yo. Anyways, yo. Stop idol worshiping. Stop looking at people's hue. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it means nothing. It means nothing in the grand scheme of things, yo. We wrestle against principalities, not flesh and blood. Let me say that again. We wrestle against principalities, not flesh and blood. Wrestle against principalities. Not flesh and blood. Anyways, my name is Landry on the debate. Thank you for joining me on Don't Quote Me on the 27 Letter Podcast. Check out this next video talking about business and friendship. You have to learn the hard way. All right? Peace. 27 Letter Podcast merch. You can get them off the website. Just like newly published revised version of 27th Letter's book. Make sure you go to 27thletter.com to get your copy of the book, the revised version. Or just if you already have the, a copy, get a cup of coffee. You know, there's other stuff on the website you can get. Let me know. All right? Support. This is how I... I'm able to, you know, have the time to do what I do for you guys. Get the book, 